here's the loading area here's the uh, looks like the last remaining stores that were here look at the fluorescent light bulbs smashed all collecting in the shrubbery here holy What's up guys, my name is Jake, and welcome to the early 1990s. Well, more specifically today, we're in what's left of this eerie, abandoned outdoor shopping center. Now, this property has been through many names in the past, but this outdoor mall officially opened on October 5th, 1990, under the name, the Chesapeake Village Outlet Center. It was designed to be an outdoor outlet mall riding along with the 1990s trend of discount goods. And it was placed just along I-95 in Maryland, just a short drive from over 13 million people. Oh, all these trees are have, uh, they all have Christmas lights on them. Wow, this is a rough condition. This would have been. Fitting rooms. Get lit. Looks like uh, they tried to barricade themselves here or something. It's like they didn't want anyone in here. All of this glass was uh, painted over, I think. Looks like they just, yeah, look. They, uh, they just painted over the inside of the glass to block off the, so people couldn't see in. I wonder what this was. All these boxes have mold on them. Aeropostal. PS4U.com for cool kids. Sizes 4 to 14. Man, this place, this one's bad. So much water damage. I just got over a cold, so I don't want to be in a moldy building for very long. Man, look at this. Store display here. Whatever this said. So cool. Oh man, it's bad in here. It's so bad in here. This carpet is soaking wet. In the beginning, the mall drew millions of visitors and tourists, becoming quite a popular shopping destination. However, the property exchanged hands in 1998 and became the prime outlets of Perryville. That success, though, had begun to taper off just as the highway feeding all of its customers had become a toll road, with the booth literally just placed before its exit. 
This deterred many local shoppers, now with the mindset of going to a closer shopping center rather than driving all the way out to Perryville to pay a fee. This was the catalyst for its upcoming failure, and things were starting to fall apart for the mall. Okay. Factory brand shoes I see right there. Players. Salon. Man, that's so depressing. <laughs> that is so depressing. Oh, geez, look at this place. The roof is like wide open back there. Man, you could really use your imagination with this where it's like... Beautiful big picture, floor to ceiling windows, and now it's just nothing. Huh. See the speakers up there? This place is really bad with mold, too. Wow, look at that. Oh, this one's really creepy. This storefront. It's like... Um, oh god. I came through here, and I uh -huh. thought this was another store that right. goes out. You go out here, and then you go in this weird double doors. Oh. And there's a... Oh, we're behind them all now. Office. What the? Oh my god, it's bad in here, dude. Yeah. Oof. So all of the Polaroids are... What in the world? There's some of the construction ones. Mikasa was still here. This looks like a construction photo there. Yeah. Uh, this looks like another construction photo, but it's covered by... Yeah. Are these dated? Yeah. Oh, they're messed up. <laughs> By 2007, a new owner had stepped in to try and save the dying mall. The name was changed once again to now just simply the Perryville Outlet Center. With larger tenants like Rue 21, Sears, and Nike, the mall had kept its doors open, fluctuating heavily in its occupancy. While struggling with local shoppers, most of the mall's visitors came from foreign bus tours stopping there. By 2014, most of the stores had left, with only a handful remaining. And despite a renovation in between, finally in 2016, the mall had closed permanently. So weird to be in an outdoor shopping center that's just completely destroyed, but at the same time kind of unvandalized in a way. There's a lot of broken glass everywhere, but surprisingly not much vandalism. That's, oh my god. Yeah, oh, that was deeper than it was. Huh. Oh, I thought that was like a well. Oh, hi, Brennan. Oh, hey. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know you were recording. <laughs> yeah, where did that come from? Maybe it blew off of um, the roof from somewhere around Maybe. It's odd. <clears throat> well, here's uh, Mikasa. Holy shit. Customer service desk over here. Definitely looks intact. I think so. Seen here. Man, look at how the the dripping over time has just warped this uh, piece of wood. Yeah. Oh, all of these are intact here. Huh. Man, look at the warping of this here. Oh my god. There's an old water cooler right there. Oh, it is bad in here. Jeez, man. Oh, 
holy crap. Good. These are some checkout aisles right here. Oh, gosh, Bosch. <clears throat> Over there. The inside scoop. Wow, this is pretty big actually. I don't know what this was. Oh, look at this. It's like a Probably a diamond store, judging by the metal detector, or the, the checkpoint here. Some sort of display case here. Swiss watches. Yeah, probably just like a diamond and jewelry and store. These little presents. For a, a ring. Put the ring right there. And I am definitely alone right now. So creepy. Yeah, 
What? Okay, so we were down here. Brendan was around the corner and was filming. Uh -huh. And somebody walked past us and we said, Brendan, is that you? And they didn't respond and kept walking. And somebody came down over through here and was over here with a light. And then they just dipped. We don't know where they went. And they wouldn't respond to us, so we don't know where they went. Uh. Alright, well that's even more terrifying. What the hell? Yeah, there's Where? like there's like four people in here that aren't us. What? And then I came down here and you were down here, so they're in here oh somewhere. God, what the hell? Oh, I don't like that. Now that I'm I was alone over here. There's people in here hiding from us. Do you well, hear that? I mean they could just be no, it wasn't a homeless person. They were young. That guy, I saw the. I had my light shine on them. They were young. They were One young? of them was wearing a blue sweater. They could just be exploring. But costs. why wouldn't they respond? Also, uh -huh. why are they here now? It's like That's true. pitch black at. It's pitch black they, and they have a small flashlight. Alright, well. Continue on this way, I guess. Wow, that's. Very 90s. This looks like the 80s Epcot. I don't know what this was. It's a dress bar. That's fine. If you walk in the back, you can actually... Uh, I don't know, in the back, it has the names of all the stores on the, uh, like, the loading door. Oh, really? Yeah. Wait. They're probably in that back wall. God, I don't like this. Sorry, I thought I saw someone run by. Oh god. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep my light on this area. Right? Yeah. You know what, let's not venture back this too far. Yeah, that's fine. I mean I can just walk this way. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here, but I'm not about it. <laughs> this is pretty cool, though. These uh, yeah. these checkout stations. I like the lights and the light changes. Yeah. This looks like a grocery store. I mean, it probably wasn't, but yeah. kind of has yeah. that feeling, that yeah. industrial feeling. All right. This is a buffet. I think it was um, like a Mandarin restaurant. Hmm. Small. Oh, this paper's burned too. Alright. Let's get out of here. <laughs> as we leave tonight, it remains unclear as to what will happen to this large, once thriving property. Thanks for watching, everyone.